Ah, yes, it's good to be back. After months of seeing nothing but the best replays, we have finally gathered enough of your questionable moments for another fan favorite episode of The Worst Replays. Such as Captain Ionis over here, refusing to angle their turret in an E100, while firing AP shells at a hull down Kronwagen. I'm not sure which content creator our hero is trying to impress with these plays, but it's certainly not us. Especially considering we've just wasted three minutes of the game while doing a grand total of zero damage. By which time the enemy team has completely overrun the eastern side of the map. And if you thought this was going to be one of those heroic battles where Captain Ioannis holds the line against 10 enemy tanks, You thought wrong. Up next, it's Kribok defending for dear life in one of the most infuriating tanks to play, the Bargain. So let's skip the uninteresting part in which I will rant about the aim time and reload of this tank and just cut to the juicy bit. And thus, the Coriolis effect corrected for the average shell deviation equals the gun being underwhelming at best. So, now that we have established that, we can also observe that Kribok has been fairly successful in their defensive efforts so far. And now that every enemy tank bar one has been eliminated, surely our daring defender will seek to close out this game. Surely? I really hope Kribok is aware that the time is running out. Yeah, that siren might pose a small issue. Oh, here we go! But by believing in Kemp Bush strategy for too long, Kribok is two seconds shy of destroying the enemy and instead ending up with just a draw. So maybe next time consider pressing that W key a bit more. Up next, the fifth moon has been having a very solid game so far dealing 5,000 damage while just about keeping the green team in the game. So the only thing standing in the way of a very solid victory is an enemy clicker detachment. Surely an easy prey for a Progetto. Played, outsmarted, and outskilled. But I'm sure our ally will have no issues closing out the game. Oh! Well, that's what you get for trusting your teammates to accomplish even a simple task of dealing 82 damage to an arty. So, how about we show some arty gameplay then for a change, eh? And for that, we've got none other than Donanzador. Yeah, that one had it coming. Nope. This point-and-click adventure is just getting boring. Let's just move on to the next one. All right, this replay was submitted to us by Seijo, who just blindly charges in against an enemy heavy tank. 
Ah, I see someone was counting on the blessings of the mighty Aaron Jesus. And I guess when you've got the RNG on your side, who cares about this thing called tactics? Or just get bailed out by the friendly team while losing 90% of your HP. That works too. And spend the next two minutes being completely ineffective, struggling to scale even the most gentlest of inclines. Only to die for peaking the same spot three times dealing a grand total of 2,500 damage. Yep, surely a replay featuring on our main show. This next replay was submitted by WZ131 in the Object 704. You'd think someone named after a light tank would not be camping as far back as possible from the first minute of the game. But nope, that's exactly what we are getting here. So, when camping at the back does not work, how about we camp in the middle of the map instead? Which doesn't go much better for WZ-131. Yay! Finally! After five and a half minutes, the first bit of damage is dealt. So, uh... Why exactly was this replay submitted to us? Oh! Ah, I see! The dive lacked finesse and the entry was messy, but what does the jury think? And the final replay we've got in store for you is... A tier 4 seal clubbing adventure by a platoon of Valentine 2s. Because nothing agitates the comment section more than a tank which only gets to see other tier 4 tanks played against complete newbies with full gold. As I facepalm, very convenient, can simply park in the open and decimate any unfortunate tank in their crosshair. Oh, what is this? A fellow seal clubber! We might just have an immovable force versus unstoppable object situation. Now, what does this remind me of? Wow! I facepalm discovers a revolutionary new tactic to be known as flanking the enemy! To destroy their rival! What a play! I really wonder how many credits were spent on all these APCR shells. Surprise, mother! Huh, imagine switching to HE for a tank that was literally constructed of tin foil. So, finally, after all this seal clubbing and eight kills, the only thing left standing on the enemy team is possibly the worst tank in the game and definitely the ugliest. What? It's not AFK! And it destroys I face palm as well! Ah, but don't worry, our FCM 36 will carry this one. Yeah, that's enough of that. Well now, those replays were indeed something. I'm still unsure why half of these even got sent in. But it does let us blow us some steam with an episode like this here and there. So I guess I should ask you to send more of these terrible replays. Uh, yeah? I'm not even sure in any case you seem to like these, so we'll just keep making them. What say you, comment section? In any case, it is time to bid you farewell with my well-known and trademarked phrase. I'm Adam Snowgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!